So could I safely say the chickens have won? How did you dare come? Wow, Why not? I would have been scared. Why? The dry mix. It doesn't look as good as Isabel. Hey, hey. <laughs> it doesn't. Wow, what a storm we had last night. Pretty crazy. And we are going, um, <clears throat> we're not gonna sleep over at the Bueller camp out, but we'll go for an hour or so. Just however long Papa O can last. And it's about an hour's drive and we'll just hang out there. My brother Brent's there from Idaho, so I wanted to see him. And I was worried about the kitties last night, but it looks like they survived. Doesn't look like it got too wet. How we doing, Mama, huh? She's growling at me. Huh, I wouldn't think that would be a good spot to go. And it's about 55 degrees right now. And it's a bit chilly. Not good for a camp out. My brother's staying in a tent. Let's see what it's like. Oh, how did water get in here? I thought greenhouses were waterproof. Huh, I wouldn't think there'd be water in here and it's uh, 60 degrees in here. Let's see what today brings. At least the sun's a shining. Hi kitty. And chickens are still eating the eggs. Oh well, I kind of given up. <laughs> kitty, watch where you're going. And that rain just really perked everything up and watered our lawn, watered our lawn really nicely. So let's Go for a nice little hour's drive and see my brother from Idaho. There's about 10 of us that are camping out there. Not too many of us are braving it. So could I safely say the chickens have won? How do I let a chicken beat me? Well, they're in here all the time. <laughs> Look at them over there. <laughs> well, maybe they've given up too, I don't know. Yeah, I'll definitely be bringing a sweater. And a coat, so it's going to be chilly. Okay, we found the turn off. We are out in the middle of nowhere. Bumpy road, bumpy dirt road. You okay with that? We don't have a choice right now. 3.5 miles. Okay, we see the sign Bueller. Yeah, there, there they are out there. This road's smoother than the one we just went on. I know it is, isn't it? So this is us right here. <laughs> we made it. Let's go find everybody. There's Roy boy. Hey Roy! That's a bumpy ride out to here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> is this yours? Yeah. Nice. When'd you get that? I bought it off Steven's shirt. Oh, years ago. I remember you doing that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, your puppy. Here we got everybody here. Oh, there they all are. Isabella came? It is. It's oh a my gosh. Who? Who? <laughs> okay. Oh, good. Okay, I brought some yeah, hot doggers. Oh, good. Yeah. Just in case. I say Connie. Uh, oh. Connie brought that whole big pack. Look at that pack of hot dogs. Oh, that ought to do us. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You made it. Isabel? You found all the Bueller sides. Boss Ooh. Like, yeah, we'll eat. Yeah, we'll eat them. Ooh, hole there. Watch that hole. Even Brad came. Brad, how did you dare? And Brant? I heard you slept in a fun tent last night. It rained on me all night long. <laughs> rained on you all night. The old people out and there. Brad, how did you dare come? Wow. Why not? I would have been scared. Why? I don't know. Yes, how in do you get you around? Come. They pull me. Oh, wow, <laughs> you are really roughing it here. Yeah, I got Namalaya for Namalaya? Wow. Oh, how fun. <laughs> so my husband's out here, like he took off on four wheel. Oh. I still can't believe Brad braved it. I know. Did Yolanda make it? Yeah. She's yeah. Right. She's oh, okay. But he needs fatter wheels. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people so camping I here. I know. Got a so generator for. They put him right behind. Oh, here's Brant. And then blocked the wind. He made it through that storm last night. Yes. Oh, Randy. good old duct tape. Wendy and Randy all night. <laughs> Put Connie and right here. Oh yeah, they're coming. To, when are they coming? Tonight? Yeah, they'll be here. Cooking up a heart doggers. There we go. And uh, Ben. Oh, there's Yolanda. Wow, look at you making a cake. Ben's the one that is always doing Dutch ovens, and I look at you. 
This is nice. I thought I wanted to get out here before it gets too cold, but I guess you guys will get a fire going and stay warm, huh? Okay, peach cobbler. You blob some on there? Yeah, the peach cobbler? <laughs> yep. Peach cobbler coming right up out of the Dutch oven. Still boiling? Why, why is the smoke? Has to come right here. Oh, you're cold. It's not or anything. It's not burning. What's this one? It's just another peach cobbler, but oh, it's just a dry mix. It doesn't look as good as Isabel. Hey, hey. <laughs> it doesn't. Winner. Winner. Let's give it. Peach cobbler for dinner. Oh, you almost. I don't. She almost tipped the ashes. So she said she mixed she was, hers up like a cake. And this oh, and then. Dry. Okay, gotcha. So dry. people do it two different Note ways. to self. Your <laughs> ride your horse. I can tell. Huh? Okay. Oh. Okay, there's Connie. So they're going to park over there. Yeah, he is. Yeah. You're like that close, that close. He's fine. He <laughs> you don't see it? Doing. He goes, I can see it. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what I'm doing around here. That ought to do it. Look at that piece of wood. What happens is it causes more smoke to... Yeah, uh, what's your name? Uh, Sheldon. <laughs> causes more smoke. Oh, she's got ice cream and watermelon? Put another log on the fire. Right Whoop me right. up some bacon and some beans. That ought to warm us up. Oh, there you go. And then you won't lose them in the yeah, cobbler. Of yeah, we gotta get some of that cobbler. That's amazing how it cooks like that. Oh, looky there. Look at that log. Yeah, he's all leveled out. Look your age, yeah. <laughs> Got the kids playing spike ball over there and some are out riding motorcycles, motorcycles, four wheelers. We stayed about an hour and a half, almost two hours. And we're gonna get home before dark. We're driving on our bumpy road. You can see Utah Lake over there, Timpanogos. Really nice sun finally came out and warmed things right up. Very nice. Yeah, look at that view. It's beautiful. Oh, that was fun. Getting to see Brent. He's one that lives in Idaho. Got back just in time for the sunset. I can't quite see it. Kind of through there. Wow, that vine wall. It's really taken over. Ooh, it's cold. I don't know how they survive. Well, the ones that have trailers have heaters, but Brent, poor thing, he's got the tent, Brent with the tent. Tell Papo to come watch the sunset. You can't, it's that big vine wall, you can't even see it. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, and we'll go ahead and post some quotes. <laughs> the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. The bare necessities of, of life will come to you. What does that mean? Like food and, I guess and, your bare food necessity. and money and cars. And That's right. And pizza and everything. And pizza. I don't know if pizza is a bare necessity. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. The starting point of all achievement is desire. Oh, that's a good one. All right. Well, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And remember to look for that rose. And let's see what tomorrow brings. Thank you and good night. Good night. Oh, my gosh. You scared the children. <laughs> <laughs>